verse 15. Verse 16. 就要留他存活十七节希伯来妇人本是健壮的这段是一个很恐怖的 So this is a um, very uh, uh, a fearful uh, decree or a government uh, decree uh, uh, that is recorded here 那最主要的是当时信了法老王啊and the main reason was that the new king of Egypt, the Pharaoh, did not know how much a Joseph had done for the Egyptians in the past. 那个时候, 他们人数慢慢多起来, and at that time, um, the number of Hebrews um, increased greatly. So they were so they are just like in today's term have this anti-immigrant sentiment. 所以他们就想出一些办法来反制这些以色列人。So they tried up, um, they tried ways to go against the Israelites. 因为这些过来的希伯来人虽然是人多,但是没有政治力量。so the outsiders, uh, the Hebrews, although they, they, their numbers are great, but they have no political power. So the in the eye, so the Egyptians did not like the Hebrews. So they were like a sore eye to them, and also the Hebrews were uh, mostly shepherds. Uh, but the uh, Egyptians uh, were mainly in agriculture, and at that in those times, um, the agricultural industry is uh, more respected than being a shepherd. 换句话说, so in other words, the cultural or knowledge, the culture wise, knowledge wise, or technology wise, the Egyptians are um, uh, superior. So therefore, the Egyptians looked down on the um, Israelites. So uh, therefore, uh, they uh, put uh, the Israelites into hard labor. Uh, but to the Egyptians, this was not enough. 他們還要更進行一個滅族,整個民族滅種的政策。They wanted to uh, implement um, an annihilation project whereby they annihilate all the Israelites. 當時就是說這個生男孩子的話,就以色列人生男孩子就把他弄死了。So if the Israelite were to give birth to a baby boy, then they will put the boy to death. 當時希伯來的社會呢 and in the Hebrew uh, society then there was a, there were two uh, midwives. 当然啊,一定不止两个受生婆, uh, of course, uh, they were not the only two Hebrew midwives. Uh, there must be many more others. But these two midwives were very special. Therefore, the Bible especially recorded their names. One was named Shipra, and the other was Pua. 
啊，这个苏宁啊，这个很美好的念造的品格。So these two midwives were able to uh show uh good inner qualities. 所以这个故事一开始啊，就已经隐藏要教我们来。So the story started by encouraging us to imitate these two midwives. Because they had good spiritual qualities. Because they had good spiritual qualities. So the meaning of a shepherd is beautiful. 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 So the meaning of So I don't know if they're outwardly a good-looking, but at least we know that they have inner beauty. In other words, they have very good spiritual qualities. So these two midwives, these two shepherd boys' character is what? It is how they manage this external strong pressure. So what were their good qualities? Their good qualities was what we can know through how they face the surrounding pressure. They have to face the surrounding pressure. 国家的王哈啊啊，这个王呢，这个王是可以说是他们寄居国的国王。So they had to face uh their uh a newly found country's a king. 啊，这个国王呢是有政治权力的。And this king had great political power. 这个王呢，他是有军队的。And this uh king had army. 所以这个王呢，他操着有这个生杀的大权呢。And he had the authority uh, uh, to kill or to uh, keep someone alive. So this midwife, since they are wives, they are female. So females tend to be physically weaker. They are not like males who have muscles. So these two strong women, how do they face the pressure from the Pharaoh's challenge, from the Pharaoh's pressure? So then, how did these two weaker women face the pressure and challenges that comes from the king? We today may have many different pressures. Uh, today we all face different uh, uh, pressures and challenges. Uh, we have uh, pressures from work. Uh, uh, pressures from uh, family. And we face pressures through um, uh, through our relations with friends and co-workers. And our stress and pressures comes from competition and Comparisons. So, when one person, ah, he, 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 Uh, but sometimes we find that they're very pitiful. Because they isolate themselves, but on the other hand, they uh, may uh, pity us. Uh, because we normal uh, beings, uh, we tend to make comparisons with others. Uh, why is it that some children would take some, uh, would take some uh, talent, uh, uh, would, um, Join after-school activities and uh, improve their uh, talents. For example, uh, some uh, children take up music. Uh, this is because today, to apply for college, you need to uh, have some. Um, uh, 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 you need, so you need some. Uh, Yeah, you need to know piano or a violin. Ah, just if you don't have this knowledge, then that will be very difficult to apply because the competition is very great. Ah, because if you don't have this non-academic skills, then it's harder to get into the good college because competition is great. So, if he takes up that piano or violin, then I will beat him. So, if the other student uh, takes up the, that uh, that musical skill, and if I don't do it, then I'll lose out. So, it will create pressure. Therefore, this would form a kind of pressure. So, many times, pressure is from this competition. Therefore, a stress and pressure often comes from competition and comparisons. Ah, that we need to learn from him how to overcome this pressure and challenge. 
So from the midwives, we shall learn how we can face with pressures and challenges. So now let's look back at Exodus chapter 1. Verse 15. So here we see that the king of Egypt spoke to them. So here the, the spoke or the speaking here seemed to be an easy action. But in reality, it was a commandment. So a commandment means you have to pay close attention. So whenever the king speaks, everyone would pay attention, full attention. And what did the king say? So the king said, when you do the duties of a midwife for the Hebrew women and see them on the birth stools, if it is a son, then you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, then she shall live. So this commandment to the midwives was a very sad one. It was a very, uh, uh, it was a commandment that was very difficult to, 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 to absorb. Because um, some of the women that the midwives help to deliver may be the midwife's relatives. Or it could be the midwife's sister. Or could be the midwife's older sister. Or could be the midwife's aunt. Or could be their friends. So, so if the baby is a boy, then uh, she had to kill him. And not only so, this would mean that after a few years, the whole, uh, the whole uh, group of the Israelites would no longer have a, 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 female, a male present. They will no longer be um, the males to shepherd their flocks. And there will be no males to support the families. So with the whole group of females only, the Israelites cannot procreate. In other words, the Israelites would uh, 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 cut short their or, 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 or cut short their roots. So this commandment does not only involve the midwives uh, pers personally. So this commandment uh, has, uh, uh, has a lot to do with the fate of the Israelite people. Uh, of course, at that time, uh, the Israelite nation has not been established. Uh, but this would um, involve uh, uh, the, the, the whole uh, 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 tribe or group of uh, Israelites. Therefore, this is a great matter. It is not only their personal problem. Therefore, how then should the midwives make a decision? So when they heard the commandment, the commands of the uh, of Pharaoh, uh, the Bible said in verse 17, but the midwives feared God. In other words, in their hearts, God had a position. So in the process of deciding whether they should obey Pharaoh, then God appeared in their hearts. So the Bible so just as what the Bible says, the midwives magnified the Lord. So when they magnified the Lord, they were able to see God clearly. If they had not magnified God, then God would still remain 
very tiny in the deep corners of their heart. So they cannot see a God clearly. And all they could see were their own thoughts. So at this point, the midwives feared God and God was inside them. And so they were able to see God. Therefore, they were able to accept the thoughts of God as their own thoughts. In other words, they were able to put God first. Because they magnified God and God was there. So likewise with Mary and the in the New Testament. The angel appeared to her and told her that she shall bear a son. At that time she was still not married. So had she thought of the matter based on her own thoughts? She would not wish things to go like this. Because this pregnancy would destroy her um, reputation. And perhaps her fiancé would also greatly object. And her fiancé would misunderstand her. So this is a, a smear that cannot be washed away. So based on her own thoughts and conceptions, she would naturally say no. But the Bible recorded that Mary uh, magnified God. And she was able to see that the position or the status of the Lord in her heart was very great. So she followed according to the thoughts of God. And she did not put her thoughts as the main focus. And the thoughts or the will of God is for her to deliver the Savior through her. Because the Savior needs to be delivered through someone. So she accepted. Because she was able to magnify God. Uh, likewise, the apostles, after um, the Lord ascended, the Holy Spirit came down and they uh, um, established the church. They also did things according uh, to the, the, the will of God. Uh, let's turn to Acts, chapter 4. Acts, chapter 4, verse 18. Acts chapter 4 verse 18. 19. 19. Acts chapter 4 verse 18. So this uh, here recorded the first time they faced a uh, persecution. So if had they done according to their own thoughts, so uh, they would have said, since we are forbidden to speak, then we shall not speak, and we'll take another opportunity to do so. So we will not stop speaking until this anti-Christian wave subsides, then we will continue. However, they uh, magnified and put God uh, first. They continued to preach. Uh, let's uh, look, uh, read Acts chapter 5, verse 27. 五章二十七节，Five so here we see that the more they preached, the more courageous they became. 
啊，官府那些官长们、官会的人的阻挡。They did not heed the objections of the council and the officials. 你看二十八节说，我们不是严严的禁止你们吗 ？In verse twenty-eight, it says, "Did we not strictly command you?" 那彼得被棺材被被那个被天使啊释放出来呀。And Peter had just been released by the angel. 啊啊，出来要要继续传。And after he was released, he continued to preach. So these people were not afraid. So these people were not afraid. Because these people, Jesus Christ's disciples, they are very brave. Why are they very brave? Because they stood for the Lord. So these apostles of Jesus were very brave. And why were they brave? It's because they were able to magnify God. They had a someone to depend on, and that great mountain they depend on is the Lord Jesus. 所以当时他们做决定啊，就是符合神的原则啊，他们就听。So at that time they made a decision is that if the command is according to the Lord's principles, then they would obey. 啊，不符合神的原则啊，他们就不听。But if it's against God's principles, they will not obey. 啊，有的英文圣经啊，这个 magnify 把神范围大啊，就是说啊，荣耀神的名啊。And some um, uh, translation versions of English Bible uh, um, says that magnify God is also to mean to glorify God. Oh, they were in making decisions, they wanted to see if they could do this thing, if they could glorify God's name. So when they make decisions, they would ask themselves if uh, doing this thing can glorify God. Because at that time, Saul and Paul, they were just listening to the command. So at that time, had the midwives uh, listened uh, to the commands of uh, Pharaoh? Then the 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 Israelites would be annihilated. Then the the Israelites would be annihilated. Then 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 the And second, the midwives are, um, rejoice in the Lord. Ah, so Mary, she not only says, "Bless the Lord," but she also says, "Bless the Lord with God." So likewise, Mary not only magnifies the Lord, but she also rejoices in the Lord. Because she is bless the Lord, this has made her very happy. So she does not need to look for other ways. Because she can rejoice in the Lord, therefore they no longer need to find other ways to 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 to, have, to experience joy. Because this has made me very happy. Because doing this already satisfies me. Wow, this restaurant is very good. Oh, this restaurant is so good. Ah, it's already good for me. It's already good enough. Ah, some friends say, "Ah, we go to another restaurant, okay?" Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." Ah, we have some friends that suggest, "Let's go to that restaurant." So the same goes when we worship God. At that time, the Israelite people, why did they worship God? Because they were able to worship God. 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 Because they were able Hosea chapter two, 第二章的第七节 Verse seven. 第二章第七节 Chapter two, verse seven. 他必追随所爱的，却追不上；他必寻找他们，却寻不见。便说：“我要归回前夫，哈，因为那个时候的光景比如今呢还好。”第八节 Verse eight. 他不知道是我给他五谷、新酒和油啊，并加增他的金银，他却以此供奉巴力啊。这个何西亚书啊，是专门在描写神跟以色列人之间的关系，就像夫妻一样。So the book of Hosea describes the relationship between God and the Israelites, just like that of a husband and wife. 啊，这个妻子啊，老是对他先生所做的事情啊不满意的。And this wife is always not satisfied with whatever um her husband does. 啊，没有以他为乐。And she did not, uh, uh, she did not rejoice because of him. So she went to find someone else. Therefore, uh, she went to look for uh, for 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 another one, another one. Ah, but to find someone else, it's not 
不见得比第一个更好啊。啊 ，so when she went to look for another partner, this partner may not be better than the first one. 啊，说再回来。So she decided to return. 啊，可是已经经过很多的苦啊，苦楚了。But she had undergone many uh problems and difficulties. 说我们要以神为乐。Therefore, we ought to rejoice in the Lord. Ah, this God's self made us very satisfied. Ah, we should be satisfied with God Himself. So, our hearts will not be empty. So, if we do that, we will not feel empty in our hearts. Ah, not 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 empty in our So they would try to find other ways to 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 fulfill themselves. That this is a sign of deprivation. 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 So if um there's something else that can replace God, that thing is idols. Ah, so these two, so some poor ah, they why do they listen to God and not follow the king? Because they are as great as God is as great as God. Ah, so the reason why the midwives did not listen to Pharaoh was because they were able to magnify God and to rejoice in the Lord. Ah, 当时的约瑟哈，他为什么能够守住道理？ Ah, so um at that time, how did Joseph, or why was Joseph able to keep his faith? Ah, 他是很年轻的。Ah, he was very young. Ah, 跟我们今天年轻也是一样啊，十几岁啊。So just like the young people here, he's just a teenager. 但是呢，他是能够以神为大。But he was able to magnify God. He was able to rejoice in the Lord. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. So with these two basic um uh uh focus in him, he was able to help him to overcome his enemies. Therefore, we should also try to prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So only through this way can we obey God. So we should also try to prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey God. So only through this way can we obey So now we see um that the two midwives fear God. That why the Bible says that they two are fearing God. So why did the Bible say that both the midwives fear God? That the first, they respect life. Ah, 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 Uh, because to put to death a newborn baby boy, it's it's terrible because the boy already has life. So this is the reason why our church do not support abortion. Because the fetus inside the mother already has heartbeat. So if you abort the fetus, it's like a, a murder uh, ending the child's life. Because although the baby has not been born yet, 但是呢，已经可以说是啊，比如说怀孕一个月、两个月、三个月是可以计算的，他生命在他成长啊是可以被计算的。啊 ，because um uh as the baby grows from one month, two months, and three months in the womb, uh the baby already has has a lifespan can be counted. 那有一个太太哈，她怀孕。There was a a lady who was pregnant. That 医生啊，帮他做这个超音波扫描啊，发现那个婴儿哈有脑的水肿。And um the the doctor did ultrasound and found that the baby had a a brain edema. A brain and edema edema. 对。那这个生出来哈，这个婴孩不会正常，因为是脑水肿。There is fluid in the brain, so when the baby If the baby comes out, then the baby will not be a normal one. So, doctors, ah, they need to treat him. 
So the doctor recommends that they abort the child. Otherwise, uh, they would have to spend their lifetime to support and take care of this child. And it will uh, uh, bring them great burden. But this couple uh, did not listen to the doctor's advice because they respected life. But they would rather have an, a, a not a normal child than to disrespect life. So when the due date for the baby came, and the baby came out to be a very normal child. And the doctor was amazed. So he said, This is a miracle. So we can so we see that this couple, although they're not our church members, but because they respect life, God also helped them. So those who respect life are a, a people pleasing to God. So these two midwives, because they respect life, therefore God also helped them and repaid them. So this uh, midwives put the interests of the whole nation above everything. So they do not uh, follow according to the plans of Pharaoh. So therefore, when we make decisions, also today we ought to think for the whole interest of the church. And not only based on our own our own convenience. Or based on our own uh, uh, hobbies or, or interests. Or based on my own benefits. But we should base our decisions on whether we can edify uh, the whole church and all the members. And things that can edify, then we will do them. Even though it's hard work, we still have to do them. So we can dance in Monshi. And we see that Moses, for the sake of the whole nation of Israel, uh, he did not bear to see his people continue in their hard labor. Therefore, he decided uh, to abandon the, 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 the pleasures of living in the palace. So when his thoughts and plans were known, were made known to Pharaoh, Pharaoh was very angry. Uh, because he had uh, uh, spent so much time in uh, bringing up Moses some 40 years. He had fed him and trained him. Uh, and now he, uh, he, he, he at, at, um, in just one moment, he decides to leave. Uh, so if we are Pharaoh, we also will be angry. Uh, be, we'll be angry because uh, I, I bring you up uh, to maturity. And I've raised you up uh, to be the future Pharaoh. But now you have decided to escape. So it's no wonder that the uh, king of Egypt uh, was upset. But Moses ignored um, the king. Because what he saw was the whole um, destiny of the Israelites. He did not only uh, think of it for his own good. Therefore, uh, Moses' um, uh, uh, spirit is worth our um, emulation. Uh, uh, next, uh, the two um, uh, midwives were content with God's blessings. Uh, let's uh, come back to and read Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1, verse 18. Verse 18. 
说声婆啊，不按照王的吩咐，所以王就召他们来了。So because their midwives did not obey the king, therefore the king summoned them. Oh, so call them in, come, 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 ask, 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 好，十九节哈。Let's read verse nineteen. 那说声婆对法老说，因为希伯来妇人与埃及妇人不同，希伯来妇人呢本是健壮的啊。说声婆还没有到啊，他们已经生了。So um nine verse nineteen, and the midwife said to Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women, for they are lively and give birth before the midwives come to them. 哇，这两个很勇敢呢。So these two were very brave. 这两个说声婆可以说是不知天高地厚了。So they were uh, so uh, they were indeed very brave, not fearful of anything. So they not only um this they not only did not follow according to uh, Pharaoh's commands. 还将还将的这个法老王一军呢，啊给他难看。Oh, so they even uh, tried to put yeah they even tried to embarrass Pharaoh. 哦，他怎么将怎么将他一军呢 ？So how did he, they embarrass Pharaoh？ 他竟敢拿他们希伯来人，这个希伯来人当时是做奴隶的嘿，希伯来人来比较，来比埃及人，拿来做比较。So at that time the Hebrews were slaves, but they dared to compare the Hebrew women to the Egyptian women。而且比较不是说啊，你们埃及人比较棒啊，因为是埃及王嘛，说啊，你们比较棒，我们比较。So and when they make the comparison, they do not say that the um the the Egyptian women are better or superior. Oh, we want to talk about others. Always say, "Ah, you better than us." Because sometimes when we want to flatter others, we would say that they are better than us. Ah, this time, ah, you see, these two mothers, actually, ah, they could be killed. Ah, but these two midwives, at this point, they had the great possibility of being um killed. But God gave them eloquence, wisdom, and courage. 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 But God gave them So, so they were able. So they even dared to embarrass a pharaoh. So we see these two mothers, they are blessed by God. Because God blesses the Hebrew women, so their children are healthy. So God blessed the midwives, and so that the Hebrews are healthy. So they think, "Ah, we are good. We are good. So they think that 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 we are good. So therefore, we ought to be uh, content with uh, God's blessings. Likewise, we ought to be content and satisfied uh, with our church um, doctrines. Uh, today, our church has uh, the truth, and this is uh, the gift from God. It is God who revealed to us so that we can understand. And God has also given us this willing heart to accept. So we do not be better than others. Therefore, our um uh uh doctrine or our message is better than others. Uh, we 每天啊，当然要看这个啊，什么叫电子邮件呢 ？Every day we would uh check our emails. 那看这个电子邮件呢、啊，有很多这个基督教的网站，基督教给我发给我的这些网站啊，消息啊。And in my emails, I get many um uh 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 newsletters from other Christian organizations. 啊，有他们对圣经的解释啊，怎么样很多。So I I receive many emails regarding how a Bible commentaries as well. 很多是看一看啊，哎，觉得还是我们教会的真理比较好。Uh, but as I read these emails, I still find that our church doctrines are the best. So every time the emails come in, I would just delete them. Because I believe that our doctrines and teachings are better than theirs. Therefore, um, the Hebrew women are, all, are healthier than the Egyptian women. So our Hebrews, our Hebrew people are better. So we have this faith. Therefore, we ought to have this a uh, uh, positive thought. So, likewise, true Jesus Church members ought to have this faith. Uh, I know that some of our members would follow or or watch um, other 
non True Jesus Church uh, broadcast. Or, uh, 当礼貌上, um, uh, um, uh, uh, I need uh, as a courtesy, I ought to respect their freedom. But um, uh, but in, uh, in but practically, I would uh, encourage them to listen more to our own church um, uh, 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 content. Uh, we should not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not my my position to criticize others. But we believe. That uh, we the Hebrews, our God is better than them. Therefore, the revelation that God gives us is better than them. Because we are the true church. So therefore, we ought to have faith in our church. We ought to be content with the blessings of God. We ought to be content with the uh, blessings that he has given us. So what is the end result of, of, uh, of these um, uh, midwives? Uh, we have uh, uh, discussed earlier. Uh, God gave them courage so that they were not afraid of Pharaoh. They were not afraid of the king that can uh, grant or take their lives. And the king was also a king that speaks Egyptian. He is not their own king who speaks their own language, but a king who speaks Egyptian. So God also gave them eloquence and wisdom. Uh, so, uh, so that they were able to uh, uh, come up with a reason. Uh, the king of Egypt was uh, uh, summoned them uh, to give an account. Some people at that moment would be so nervous that they can't utter a word. So although we cannot physically uh, watch this scene live, but we can imagine that these two women were very calm. And they were steadfast in their, in their position. Because they fully relied on God. They were, they were able to magnify God. They were able to rejoice in the Lord. Therefore, they could not care less for, for any other things. So they only did what they ought to do, and they only did what was right. So they let the other matters be, uh, let, they let God take care of the other matters. And after the midwives responded to the king, uh, Pharaoh did not kill them both. Because uh, in verse 21, uh, verse 20, so therefore God dealt well with the midwives, so means that the midwives did not die. And the people multiplied means that the boys also increased. And not only that, in verse 21, and here mentions once again that the midwife feared God that he provided households for them. In other words, God took care of their family. So these two, uh, were, not, uh, uh, these two were really special people. <coughs> <coughs> so these two midwives do not hold high positions. They were merely midwives. But uh, the decisions that they make has to do with the fate of the whole nation. Of the whole people, uh, because they made the right decision and did the right thing. So that this uh, group of uh, Israelites uh, uh, became a great nation in the future. And the whole nation then uh, uh, were greatly blessed by God. And today the name Israel still existed today. 
今天的以色列人，他们应该会纪念这两个双生婆。And、uh, I believe that all Israelites today still、uh, would still remember these two midwives. 我们外族人，我们不是犹太人，我们已经在纪念了。So we're non-Jews, and we we are here remembering these two midwives. 我们要效法这两个敬畏神的人。So we should try to learn from these two midwives. 何况是他们自己的族人。And、uh, so, what more、uh, would the Jews uh, uh, remember them? Ah,、uh, let's sing. Now let's sing him. Three hundred and forty-four. 